Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Jackie. I hope you hit that subscribe button to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Welcome back to another monthly favorites. I thought I would share my September favorites with you, so I can't believe it's September. This is the ninth installment of my monthly favorite series of 2020. So we're back with a few favorites this month. Unlike August, I didn't really have too many favorites. Well, September I had quite a bit, so I'm just going to get started and jump right in and talk you through everything that I loved in September. So we have some beauty items this month. I know last month in August I didn't share anything, but this month I do. So one is a repeat favorite and the other one is just a newly found favorite that I'm going to gush about in a minute, but I'm going to start off with this one. I already featured this in a previous monthly favorites. I'm not sure which one at this point, but this is the Wet n Wild Micro Brow Pencil. I got another one of these because I was using it so much. Uh, they're only like two bucks, I believe, two or three. I'm not sure because sometimes I get it on sale and I know I got this one on sale. So I know I got this for under $2, but originally I think it might be three. I don't know. It's pretty affordable. It is a drugstore brow pencil. It's from Wet n Wild and I just, I love it so much. The color matches perfectly. It does my eyebrows great. It has a spoolie on the end that I can brush out. It's just so good. So I bought another one and I'm so glad it was on sale. I mean, I would buy it if it wasn't on sale, but it makes it even better when it is. Am I right? So yeah, I just wanted to let you know that I have been loving this still. It's still a consistent a brow pencil in my collection and whenever I do my makeup, up, I reach for this and yeah it's just pretty great so had to tell you about it then we have my nail favorites so I still have them on sometimes I talk about my nail favorites and I don't have them on but I still have them on I think I applied them the first week of September they have still been lasting it is already October as I'm filming this so they lasted that long I washed dishes with them I use my hands a lot, I type a lot, I use my iPad, I use my hands quite a bit. So for these to stick on that long is amazing. I was using the Impress nails before and they those would last maybe three weeks at the most and then one would pop off. These are still on. Now that I'm filming this and saying it, I'm probably gonna lose a nail tonight. <laughs> but even though they lasted quite a long time, I used the Kiss nail brush glue to nail the back of these. And then I used the glue that came with this on my nail bed and they worked. All I did was like a simple manicure, trimmed my nails, uh, removed a little bit of my cuticle, like pushed it back and just buffed them down, used an alcohol pad to clean off all the excess oils, and then I applied them like normal, and they're still on. I can't believe that. I'm going to buy more of these. It is the Kiss Salon Color Vivid Two Coat Color. I'm not sure, but they are amazing. They fit perfectly. The Impress ones fit me, but these fit me like a lot better and have a lot more options. I feel like I'm not sure. There's 28 nails in these and I'm totally getting a new one. I got these on Walmart for like five bucks. I'm going back and I'm going to get like all the colors they have. This is the short length and it is perfect on me. I don't like having such long nails, but I want a little bit of long nails, you know what I mean? But these turned out quite good and it's what I'm used to. and. The color is great. I'm usually a very vibrant colored nail person. Like I love my hot pink, but like this is a pretty like neutral nude pinkish tone. It's more nude than pink on the packaging. It looks pink, but in person it's like a more nude muted pink. So yeah, I really love them. Love the color choice. They stayed on so well so i'm gonna stop dabbling about them but highly recommended now i'm moving on to the fashion favorites that i loved and i'm going to talk you through quite a bit because i was loving a lot of things first off is this outfit i wore it so much this bodysuit is the best thing ever i love it i featured it on my blog quite a bit already but it is this puff sleeve um bodysuit so 
as you can see it's a bodysuit not a top i do love bodysuits they remind me of my dance days and they just like slim you down and tuck you in and yeah so this was 15 bucks at target i got a extra extra large because i usually size up in my bodysuits because sometimes they're not long enough for me i could have went with my normal size in this because this is quite low and sometimes it does like show my bra a teeny bit but other than that it's just so nice it's such a good material like i've been wearing it so much so i dressed it up dressed it down it just it's so good and versatile and perfect for like this transition from summer to fall so yeah i just i couldn't get over this bodysuit i'm gonna go pick up the black version as well because they're just so nice and i love having bodysuits around so yeah totally recommend this if they have it at your local target because it is so good it's from wild fable as well and i think it's true to size so yeah i'd highly recommend you pick one up then we have this nordstrom skirt so if you watched my nordstrom haul you already would have seen this and you probably would have already saw that outfit that i am talking about but it's just such a nice skirt again a nice transition piece from summer to fall i know i'm going to wear it even more i have a lot more outfits planned with it it's just such a nice skirt and it fits perfectly i have no complaints about it whatsoever and it's just i love black floral skirts like this it is an essential in my wardrobe so yeah i just had to mention it so nice i think it's still in stock so i will link this if you want to check that out and if you want a cute skirt for the fall time or springtime whatever time of year it is perfect so yeah that is the second fashion favorite since those pieces were a little bit more dressy i thought i would feature a casual option so this has been like my go-to i talked about these h&m basic t-shirts for so long they're just so good i have the purple one i think i even wore this in my august favorites but yeah it's just so nice it is so comfy like i wear it around the house or if i need to like pop down to the grocery store i wear it with leggings so yeah just a basic five dollar tea couldn't resist so yeah that is another fashion favorite now it's time for hair accessory of the month and i only have one this month because I don't really wear too much. I love this combo, the purple and then this headband. So I've been trying to get into purples more and this convinced me. So yeah, this was in a two pack from Amazon. They were like 12 bucks. Sometimes you can get them for 10, but I wore the blue version last month and this is the purple version it has like multicolored pearls like rainbow colored and it's just so pretty and elegant and i love it that was the hair accessory of the month now for the last fashion favorite which is another necklace so in august i featured a gold necklace and this one i'm featuring a silver necklace so i'll get it out of the box to show you and ta-da it's another dainty heart necklace but this time it is from a small business it is called what is it called the indigo woman so i saw it on instagram and i fell in love so i bought some earrings and this necklace it's actually a dupe of the tiffany's necklace so i've never owned a tiffany's necklace i've seen them around but this necklace actually convinces me to actually buy a real one i searched the price they're expensive but not too bad so i might put it on my christmas list and ask santa for it i think it is just so cute i've been wearing it with all of my pink outfits i'm more of a gold jewelry girl but i actually have quite a bit silver so i have this necklace a pandora ring and bracelet and yeah i do it just clashes with my bags because a lot of my bags have gold hardware so yeah i've just been mixing metals but it's so fun so i love this necklace it's super good quality it's like 15 dollars i believe and you're supporting a small business i don't know if she makes them herself or what but yeah i just i love this necklace it's so dainty and if you don't have the money to spend on a real tiffany necklace then you could totally get this one i believe it does not say tiffany does it does it really say like tiffany on it i don't think i can't really see what it says 
please return to forever love new york so it doesn't have the tiffany's name or anything or what so call it so it is not like a copy or anything it's just a dupe and you know how i stand with dupes i love dupe products i have so many designer dupes um my bag shoes stuff like that because sometimes you can't afford the real thing but if it has the actual like logo or trademark that is a plain copy I tend not to buy it. I just like the inspired style to it. So it looks like it, but it has none of the trademark on it. So yeah, I thought it was super cute. It's such a nice necklace and I love it. So I had to feature it since I wore it quite a bit in September. So I thought that necklace was my last fashion favorite, but it isn't. I'm going to be talking about the face mask that I have been wearing all throughout September. I mean, is this still a fashion favorite? I guess. I mean, it's essential for nowadays, right? And I love matching my face mask with my outfit. It has become a thing. It's become a new fashion accessory that I have been loving. So not just hair accessories, but face masks. So my goal is to buy one for um, a lot of my outfits and to have them match. <laughs> I'm weird, I know, but yeah, I just got this at Target. I got the hot pink one. It comes with two masks for $4, which is pretty good. I have the other face mask hanging next to my door, so when I need to use it to head out, I've been alternating between a couple face masks, but these have just been so good, and I just love when they match my outfits. So yeah, pick some up at Target. If you're looking into getting more face masks, Target has great styles and they're nice cheap you can breathe through them they're comfortable fit me nicely i got a small slash medium and yeah for the price you can't beat it i had to share this in my favorites and i think this is the last item in my fashion favorites of september now i'm going to move on to lifestyle favorites and the first favorite i'm going to share is i guess a tech favorite so this is my brand new usb it is rose gold so it is so pretty of course right here i'll give a close-up to what it actually looks like i got it on amazon for under 25 dollars it is a 256 gigabyte usb and i needed one of these but the fun part is it actually has lightning so it hooks up to my iphone which is really handy so i can transfer pictures and videos back and forth i have such a hard time i do not have an apple laptop sometimes my iphone does not recognize my windows laptop and it takes hours to like get it transferred over but now it's quick and simple i saw a blogger recommend this and i really needed something like this so yeah i picked one up it's pretty handy it has both sides so i can use it on my iphone and also my laptop so that is great i'm going to buy an adapter for it so i can hook it up to my ipad pro because it needs that kind of uh, adapter connector to hook it up because it's USB-C. So that's a bummer, but yeah, I really like it. It's been so easy to transfer data back and forth between my laptops, my cell phone. It's just amazing. So highly recommend, it's such a good deal. And I got the rose gold color and I just love rose gold, so. Yeah, it's super pretty, super nice and convenient and really handy. So that's a random favorite for September. Just like last month, I've still been coloring every single day. I think I'm up to 1200, 1300 pictures I've colored on this app. So thought I would give it a quick mention again. It's called Happy Color Paint by Numbers if you wanted to check that out it's still a very relaxing activity and i'm still addicted to it even until now so now we are on to my tv show favorites of course you know i always talk about my favorite tv show i have a couple to talk with you this month but before that i thought i would mention that i finally jumped on the bandwagon and i've been watching tiktok yes i started watching tiktok i think the beginning of September I believe like maybe end of August and now it's become a thing that at night when I'm like bored I'll just randomly scroll through the app and <laughs> it's been fun I still haven't made my own TikTok 
I made like my own videos, but it's been fun watching. <laughs> I can't believe that I finally got onto it. I know I'm late to the party, but yeah, I see the hype now why everyone loves it. It's just fun little videos. I've even saved a couple to my phone. So a lot of like hack videos and like Walmart shop with me, Target shop with me, like shop with me videos are so fun. I've saved that. Oh, a lot of dog videos. I'm obsessed with those. So yeah, I've been enjoying TikTok. I can't believe that I have been um, late. I'm late to the trend, but yeah, I've been watching it. It has been a favorite of mine throughout September. So if I wasn't watching TikTok, I've been binge watching TV shows. So when I wasn't watching TikTok videos, I was watching TV shows. And you know, last month I said that I watched NCIS LA and New Orleans. Well, this month I started watching Jack from the beginning. So I kind of watched everything out of order. So I did NCIS, I did the three NCISs and then Jag, but who cares? My dad actually watched it when it was on TV. It started in 95. I was only two years old when that show started and I was 12 when it ended. I kind of remember watching it a little bit but I don't remember like the whole story. So I got into it now and it's just so fun. I am really enjoying it. We still have two more seasons left um, because we found another show, which I will talk about in a minute. But Jack is honestly so fun. It kind of annoys my dad because I have so many Navy questions for him because this one is more Navy focused than NCIS is and all that. It has more like elements to it so it's fun hearing my dad's stories and relating to it and i do love the aircraft carriers they are my favorite thing in the navy ever <laughs> like i love the aircraft carriers and whenever i come whenever one comes on screen i yell flatboat it's uh, like an inside joke now for me and my dad but i know it is called an aircraft carrier but i love shouting flatboat like a little child <laughs> because essentially it is a flat boat and yeah my dad gets it he gets a little annoyed and tells me it isn't a flat boat but yeah it's just a little inside joke we have and whenever i see one i just have to look up at the tv and shout flat boat <laughs> which annoys him because it interrupts his tv watching he gets so into it like i've never seen my dad get into a show as much as this and he says he remembers a little bit of it but like doesn't but yeah, I've been watching Jag. It's so fun. So I've now officially watched all four of the franchise from the beginning. So that is fun and it's such a cute show to watch. That has been one of the shows that I've been watching in September. The next show I watched in September was The Curse of Oak Island. It was on Netflix, I believe. We watched the first season this time last year, my dad and I and we loved it and i saw there was new episodes on netflix so my dad and i just decided to start watching that because i needed to download more episodes of jag we decided to take a break and watch this and my dad also got invested in the show so he really loved it i enjoyed it um i love treasure hunting and stuff like that and it was really interesting and like all that fun stuff and i love documentaries like that it's really cool i highly recommend it if you love like documentaries and like educational real life tv shows that is so good they have some of the episodes on netflix and then i had to download the rest of the season onto my ipad but it is so good those are my two tv show favorites of september as well as some tiktok videos now we're moving on to the final category one of my favorites which is snack and food favorites last month i had a pile of food that i had to show you well this month unfortunately i don't i do have a lot of favorites but i don't have the physical product so i have to like insert the clips into it so i went to trader joe's and i did a whole video about my grocery haul and i loved some of the favorites in there so i will insert my favorites now they are the like fake kit kat bars as i'm saying i think it was called the wafer cookie crisp i believe the wafer cookie chocolate bars something like that it was delicious i really liked that 
and then the veggie sausage patties i've been eating those for like breakfast and they're just so good and sometimes i have breakfast for dinner and i've been eating those those are my two favorites from trader joe's i do have one physical one to show you here is a snack favorite i didn't really have too many snack favorites yeah i enjoyed these i picked them up at target i love cheese it so much but i got tired of the regular ones and i saw these on a commercial and the commercial actually convinced me to buy them and they were on sale at target so two for five bucks so they are these are the cheese it snapped cheesy thin and crispy and i love the cheddar and sour cream and onion so i actually bought four of these throughout september because they were on sale so i got two each time and this is the last bag i love them so much much they were so good and they're like a chip but a cracker at the same time they're really good i don't know how healthy they are for you if they're any better than chips but honestly i really love them i've been snacking on them like when i get like fussy at like midnight <laughs> and i want a snack this has been my go-to so yeah that's the only physical like food item i can share with you i still been loving kool-aid my favorite flavors now are tropical punch and watermelon so that changed still on the kool-aid kick i mean i could show you but i'm too lazy to go out into the kitchen and actually grab a packet but you know what they look like i shared it with you last month so yeah honestly those are my food favorites i guess that is it for my september favorites video of course i will link everything that i mentioned down below in the description if you want to shop it if you want to check it out as well as my instagram and my fashion blog which is fashionxfairytale.com there you have it that is it for another video i hope you enjoyed it please let me know what you were loving in september please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i'll talk to you in my next video Bye everyone!